Reducing global greenhouse gas emissions is urgent. The International Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change's sixth annual report warns that after 2030, it will become increasingly difficult to limit global warming to 2 degrees centigrade, and we will face heightened and more complex climate risks. Singapore decisively stepped up our efforts against climate change last year. We will reduce our emissions to around 60 million tonnes of CO2 equivalent in 2030 after peaking our emissions earlier. We also committed to achieving net zero emissions by 2050. We must do our best and do our part so that we can shape international norms to bring us closer to our collective goals. Finally, putting our climate ambition into action positions Singapore as a choice location for businesses and investors interested in participating in the regional green economy. And this puts us in good stead to capture new economic opportunities in the climate transition. The government, through the Interministry Committee on Climate Change, strikes a balance between ambition and practicality of action. And it will take a whole-of-nation effort. The Green Plan sets out how government, businesses and the community can work together towards a greener future. The public sector will set the example by aiming to achieve net zero emissions around 2045, five years ahead of our national target of 2050. We will also continue to forge international collaborations on climate action. Mr Chairman, government action is necessary but not sufficient to achieve a low-carbon future. So to reach net zero by 2050, we must decarbonise at every level, the economy, each sector and individual firms, so that our businesses are ready to thrive in the green economy. Our carbon tax shapes economy-wide behaviour. The government has specified carbon tax levels up to 2027 and a range of $50 to $80 per tonne of CO2 by 2030. All of us must now factor in the cost of emitting carbon. And now that the carbon tax levels are known, companies can also plan with greater predictability. This will make greener modes of production, investment and living more desirable. The carbon tax collected will continue to support businesses and households. We will invest in green technologies and infrastructure, extend energy efficiency grants to businesses, and cushion our lower and middle-income households from the impact of the carbon tax on electricity prices with USAFE rebates. Many Singaporeans are passionate about sustainability, not many more than Mr Lewis Ng. We will support you in challenging your passion towards making an impact. And we will also support Singaporeans to acquire green skills and improve their access to green job opportunities. The climate transition will be challenging, but it will be a rewarding journey, with opportunities for us to innovate and reimagine a greener and more sustainable future. So let us work together towards a better and greener Singapore.